Hey everyone, today we are diving into what makes Raj Shamani such a captivating communicator. Raj isn't just another entrepreneur, he is someone who keeps his audience hooked with his unique way of speaking, his relatable stories and his powerful message delivery. Because an average human being has 86,400 moments in a day. And if we utilize each and every one of them, we can be what we want to be, we can have what we want to have, and we can live like we want to live. So, if you want to know what makes him stand out and pick up few skills along the way, stick around. Let's get into it. One thing that makes Raj Shamani's communication style stand out is his storytelling. He doesn't just give facts or throw away motivational lines. He shares his personal experiences that pull people in. When Raj tells a story, he doesn't simply say, this is what I learned. He shares the context, the struggles and his emotion in that moment. And he was a small detergent manufacturer who used to completely discard branding. Mm. So yeah. there was no marketing, no sales team, no distribution, no branding. He's like, it just, this will work. I'll give it to one man, one guy, and then it'll automatically. And he was doing it for 30 years. So I took over the market side, built distribution, went on villages to villages, built a distribution, huh. and built a stellar distribution of 200 distributors. And we went on from like a small factory to now like four, five. This creates a relatable experience for the listeners. For example, instead of telling people to work hard, he talks about his own journey of how he faced the rejections and felt like giving up, but still pushed through. I need to run, stun, have fun, jump, dump, trump, laugh, scale up the graph on my behalf, read, bleed, lead, cry, fly, go really, really high, plan, scan, build my own clan in such a short span, ride, bite from morning till night, become my own knight and fight. These personal stories make his points stick. People remember stories more than plain advice and Raj's stories make listeners feel like they are right there with him. Another unique aspect of Raj's style is how he uses pauses. Pausing while speaking might sound simple, but Raj has mastered the art of using it effectively. When he's about to deliver a key point, he will often pause just before or after saying it. This creates a moment of suspense and gives the audience a second to process what he's saying. Agar average university in India versus average university abroad where can you earn more money after coming back? Do you think that average universities in the US UK are better than average universities uh, in India? I guess this is very clear. For instance, instead of rushing through ideas, Raj gives them room to breathe, which adds weight to his words. Pauses give listeners time to let the message sink in, and that's something Raj uses to his advantage. Number third is speaking in simple, relatable language. Raj Shamani knows his audience, and he makes sure he's always speaking their language. He avoids using complicated terms or industry jargon, even when he's explaining something related to business or finance. Instead, he breaks things down to simple, relatable ideas, making it easier for everyone to understand to his point. How do you think about businesses in India? What do you think about the fundamentals of Hinduism? How do you think about the customers? Because what do you think about the startups in the US? As it is, try to make it in India. If you want to make a restaurant today, and you want to make a cloud kitchen, you want to make a pick and go, it's the most important thing for the delivery model in the beginning. Very important. Because you said that 40% of your business comes from there. Yes, yes, yes. So, in delivery, there are two people in delivery. Swiggy and Zomato. Major players. Yes. How much do you share this percent? When Raj talks, it feels like he's having a casual conversation with a friend. He simplifies complex topics and uses everyday language. So, his audience doesn't feel left out or confused. This ability to make his message accessible for everyone, regardless of their background, is one of the reasons he connects so well with his audiences. One more amazing quality is balancing positivity with realism. Raj also has a balanced approach to positivity that resonates with people. Unlike some speakers who only focus focus on the bright side, Raj acknowledges the struggles and the setbacks that combines them with a positive outlook. When he shares the story of challenge he faced, he doesn't sugarcoat them. He talks about them honestly, but then he also talks about what he learned and how he overcame those challenges. We went to villages where people thought nobody will buy premium. So what we essentially started doing, our detergent was 75 rupees a kg, which was at that time Tide was doing. My college after my work, I used to stand in Big Bazaar for like hours and for months. Uh, not be able to speak in English, not like academically good. So I was like, I want to prove myself. Mm. 
I applied in like 60, 70 companies, FMCG companies for internship. Nobody replied. This mix of realism with a touch of optimism makes him seem authentic. People trust him because he's honest about his struggles, and that makes his positive message feel more genuine. This balanced perspective draws listeners in and builds a strong connection. Another amazing skill that we can learn from Raj is asking thoughtful, provoking questions that makes people stop and think for a while. By asking questions, Raj. brings his audience into the conversation this approach makes people reflect on his words and relate them to their own lives kabhi aise compromise kiya hai khud ko ya khud ki ethics ko brand deal ke liye ki yaar ye main believe nahi karta promote karna fir bhi kar diya paise bahut mil rahe the koi nahi ni starting with bahubali yeah. uh, ss rajamouli unki kya khasiyat hai bhai like he is every time he comes yeah, and then he's fund jata hai like how because he I think he has. Tell me about Agni Veer. What stand was your and what's in your head after Agni Veer? See, Agni Veer. Basics. Let me explain to you. It's almost as if he's inviting them to think along with him, which creates a strong sense of engagement and makes his message feel more interactive. People don't just listen; they start thinking about how his points apply to their own lives. Finally, one of Raj Shamani's biggest strength is his natural energy. He's passionate about what he's saying, and that energy shines through every time he speaks. Raj Shamani's tone and enthusiasm aren't just for show; they are genuine. His energy isn't over the top but it's contagious enough to keep people interested and engaged raj has found a way to channel his excitement in a way that makes his audience feel the same enthusiasm he does his energy makes his words impactful and it's a big reason why people are drawn to his talks and videos authentic energy is something that people can sense and raj brings it into every conversation if you're looking to become a better speaker or connect with people more deeply there's a lot to learn from Raj's approach. So that was all about the video. For more such contents, do subscribe and let me know in the comments whose communication skills you want to break down in the next video. Till then, happy learning.